Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm blessed this morning that you have chosen to join in with this morning's program. I'm blessed of the Lord that I'm able to be in your presence and you are in mine. Pray with me this morning. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, for another opportunity to come before you and these your people. O oh, Father, move by your spirit. Hide thine eyes from my shortcomings and my iniquities, Lord, that I might be allowed to continue to work in the vineyard of your choosing. Give us an ear to hear this morning, Father, your inspired written word, that we may learn from it and benefit by it, that you might receive the glory and honor from it. In Christ Jesus' name, hide me behind the cross this morning, Father, Use me as an instrument of your service, for I am humbled and I am honored. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing and all that you are about to do in the lives of these, your people. In Christ Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good morning, church. Let's go right to the word. As always, I would hope that you have a pen, marker, piece of paper that you might jot down information that you hear, a marking that you might reference to as you review what you have heard throughout the week. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter number four, starting with verse number 33 and ending with number 41. And the word of God reads, and with many such parables spake he the word unto them as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took even him, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Say with me today, when the billows roll and the breakers dash, where is my faith? I will try to expound this morning on these verses. Be patient with me. I'll try to do this in a timely manner. But I would hope that the essence of the scripture resonates in your spirit. 33 describes how, follow me with the word, how Jesus speaks to the people. Jesus always used parables, which are phrases that have a meaning under the meaning. Phrases and quotes and Understandings that have insight to what he's trying to say to you, but with a way that is not as direct as you might be used to. Let's read those again. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. Well, you know, Jesus speaks 
all the time. And we're not always able to hear it. 33 lets us know, it says, but without a parable, but without a parable spake he not unto them, which means he always speaks in parables, always. And the scripture lets us know that when he was alone with his disciples, he expounded on those things that he told them, that they might have clarity of understanding. Here's the situation. And the same day when the even was come, follow along, 35. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, here's this beautiful parable. Let us pass over to the other side. We're going to touch on that. See, we have an understanding that when, you know, the Lord says to us, let us pass over to the other side. Immediately, we probably think that, you know, he just want us to, you know, get from here to there in, this, in the physical. But as I studied this lesson, I said, well, when the Lord said, let us pass over to the other side, he wasn't talking about the physical. He wasn't saying, you know, let's go from, you know, point A to point B. Or, you know, uh, or let's go from one road to another road. He was saying, let us pass over onto the other side, unto the other side, from a perspective of spirituality, a higher medium, a higher understanding, a supernatural passing over, a supernatural understanding of getting from one place to another. And when they had sent away the multitude, there's the word again, multitude. We always understand the many, many people that always followed Jesus Christ during his ministry. They had to send away the multitude. They took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also other little ships. Well, I want to go back and I want to just look at this. And I, again, I ask that you use your Holy Ghost imagination and try to understand that when the people gathered around Christ Jesus, there was no room left anywhere. To the left, to the right, there was no room. He had a following that was unprecedented. As to when he got to the shoreline, he had to, amen, he had to get on a little ship. Oh, my God. And go out to see. And with them still, there were other little ships. 36, look, look at 37. And while they were on the ship, there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves, listen to this carefully, understand the language. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. I'm going to read that one more time. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. I'm going to detail that in one moment. Y'all just, just hang with me while we go here. Look, now we want to look at 38. 38 says, and he was in the hinder part, talking about Christ Jesus. He was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, or teacher, Master, carest thou not that we perish? I want to talk about what was it full of? What was it full of? Well, if you, if you understand how a ship works, amen, and you know you're out on the sea, and if, amen, if the water fills the ship, one thing happens for sure. The ship sinks. Well, the word of God says that, I want you to read this carefully. See, the waves and the water beat 
into the ship. It didn't say that the ship was full of water, did it? No. It didn't say that, oh my God, that there was so much water in the ship that the men were going to drown. If the ship was full of water, our Christ, who was in the hinder part of the ship, which means, that, you know, he was back near the stern. If he was laying on a pillow and the ship was full of water, neither would he have been able to survive in the human context, but not only would the men not be able to go to him because the ship was full of water. Let's look at that connotation. What was it full of? Well, my understanding of the scriptures make me understand this. You know what it was full of? When the waves was beating into the ship, it was full of doubt. As the waves beat into the ship, it was full of fear. As the waves beat into the ship, it was full of unsurety. It was full of doubt. When the waves and the wind tossed the ship from side to side, it was full of we may perish. The ship was full of all of these things while our Christ slept. Being in the hinder part of the ship, you know, it's something about being in the back of the ship. When you're in the back of the ship, it's probably the most quietest place on the ship. Our Christ was asleep while all of the turmoil, all of the craziness, all of the hecticness was going on. Our Christ was asleep. And as the men, so full of fear, doubt, unsurety, oh my God, the fear of being at the brink of death. Because of how the wind was blowing. You know, in, 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 in life, things happen where we tossed and turned and, oh my God, buffeted by the, oh my God, the waves of life, the winds. Oh my God. There are times when living is full of such peril that we feel as though this may be the end. Well, the word describes as the men went to the hinder part of the ship and saw the Christ asleep on a pillow, a dry pillow, mind you. It was a situation where when they woke him, they cried out. Look at the word, look at this. Master, master, do you care? Do, do you care? Um, can I paraphrase? Do you care if we, if we die? Do you care if we, oh God, if we, if we're not going to make it. Do you care, Lord? Do you see what's going on all around us? Do you understand how it's the ship? Look at the waves. Look at the, uh, the wind. The word says that he arose. He when he, oh my God, this is the beauty part. I, I'm trying to hold my peace. I, I'm trying to stay on course. But the word says that he arose and he rebuked the wind. Well, what does that mean? Let's talk. When he arose, he rebuked the wind. That means he stopped it. He held out his hand, oh my God, the hand of glory, and he stopped it. And as the word continues, it says that when he rebuked the wind, he said unto the sea, Peace. Be still. Oh my God, I can, I, can I roll one more time with that? Peace. Be still. And there was a great calm. A great calm. And it didn't say it waited. You know, and it just, it just died down. No. There was a great calm immediately. Immediately there was a calm. Oh my God, and Jesus said to the men, 
Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Can I kick that one minute? Last I heard, you know, y'all believed in me. Last I remembered, y'all was there and saw the miracles with your own eyes that were wrought. Last I remember, you praised me for all that had been done. The last I remember, when we got on the ship, I was still Christ Jesus. Yet I'm in there asleep. Yo, can we talk? Let's watch this. You're with me and you're scared. You're with me and you're fulfilled. I'm on the same vessel as you. I'm, I'm 50 feet away from you. And you still are fearful. You have no faith. You, how you going to be with me and you still got no faith? The last I heard you said you was, you know, y'all was all in. You're with me and still no faith that I can perform exceedingly, abundantly, over and above anything you could imagine. Y'all with me. And you have still no faith. And I'm going to go into this last verse here. This is what really, it's this, this, this rocks the boat. Y'all want to talk about this? This here rocks the boat. And even after that, they feared exceedingly. Look at 41. And they feared exceedingly. They feared exceedingly. That's what the boat was full of. Fear. Well, I come this morning to say to you that once they were full of fear and had trouble shaking it, they had trouble shaking off the fear. They look at the look at the word says. They they said one to another, "What manner of man is this that the wind and the sea obey him?" Still scared. Well. I'm here to remind you, this is the way out. You know, I, that, that was the setup. Now, now, this is the way out. This is the way out. When you claim to love him, to know him, to serve him, your faith should follow all of those actions. Your faith should follow all of those actions. So when the billows of life start to roll, oh my God, and the wind rises up in life and situations seem un just, just blow your mind. How will I recover? How will I make it? This seems to be something that is beyond my capacity to do anything about. I want you to remember this. Christ, our Savior, have faith in him. He will do all that he can do to save you. Our Christ is number one. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord Father, for another opportunity to break bread with these, your people. Oh, Father, anything that was said here, Father Lord, that's not by your inspiration, strike it from the memories and the minds of your people, that only your pure essence of your inspiration is manifested in their lives. Oh, God, allow this word to saturate and to remind us that our faith, oh my God, that our faith is what will carry us over to the other side. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Hopefully you'll join me again next week. If the Lord say so, we'll be in place, and hopefully you will be there too.